You're watching the FirearmsChannel.com. Hi, I'm Martin Gonzalez with the FirearmsChannel.com here at the Phoenix Convention Center for the Enforcement Expo Southwest. With me today is Frank DeSoma, president of Patriot Ordnance Factory. How are you doing today? Great. How are you? I'm doing all right. Look at this. You took a rifle all of parts in a million pieces. What's going on here? Well, we're trying to show what makes our product unique because it looks like an M16 until you open the hood and you can actually see the reasons of why we did what we did. They're piston driven guns on every platform we build and you can look at some of the enhancements we've done. Well tell me what sets your rifle apart from the competition as you take me around these parts. Okay well basically we're a piston driven part. We have three components. We have an op rod, a piston and a gas plug which is unique because you have two modes of setting I tried to make the system simple so you have a normal mode and a suppressed mode by rotating the plug 180 degrees with a push of a button very simple no tools required um, and it's essentially a ball valve we have another feature that's unique we have mp3 coated carriers it's electric nickel it has Teflon in it, so we can operate all our weapon systems without lubricant if the operator chooses to. But one of the neatest and latest features we've done is we have a standard cam pin with a fixed head, rectangle head, that everyone knows if they know AR-15 or M-16 platforms. We've built a roller head on ours, so we reduce drag and friction on the upper receiver. The head on our cam pin rolls. And what's the advantage there? If you have less friction, that means what for the uh, operator? Well, less friction and drag on the system. If you have a traditional gas impingement system, the gas and the carbon will build up inside the action. Over time in heavy shooting, it starts dragging the carbon on it. We don't have that issue because we're piston driven and pneumatic cylinders outside on the barrel. But you have drag from dirt or any debris that may get in, and this lessens it. We have it to where it rolls with a cam pin, mm -hmm. a roller cam pin. What, are else, uh, what else do you have here? Some of the unique features we can... The unique feature we have is we have a two-piece modular railed receiver. We have a lower, a lower rear portion and an upper forward portion of the receiver. We have a heat sink barrel nut that's unique in the industry. It's three and a quarter inches long. When all three of these parts in fa interface, you have a robust, strong platform. Our lower receiver, the upper receiver, lower rear portion has a backbone that sticks up and we have threaded steel inserts. So when you combine all these together and you torque down with three screws, you have a robust system. And the reason we did this is the strongest platform was the original design, the carry handle. They made a very thin receiver out of aluminum, 7075T6, to give it strength, but they had the carry handle, which was a bridge effect, very strong platform. Well, when they went to M4 designs, like you can see with this cutaway view, it's very only, thin. Yeah, it's only 60 thousandths thick. Our design, we're five times thicker, we're 300 thousandths stronger. But, the initial design never dealt with free floating handguards with a rail system on it that you can hang um, vertical grips, lights, lasers, all that. So when you put a vertical grip on this, you have stress in the system. The way we rebuilt this design, this platform, we did it to take the stress out of the upper receiver. And between the barrel nut, the heat sink barrel nut, the rail system, the upper portion of the rail sleeving into the barrel nut, We've extended the receiver three and a quarter inches, so the pivot point can only be from that point forward. But you have all the support from the barrel nut coming all the way back to the end of the receiver for the support and strength. Well, and Frank, let me ask you this, because there's so much here that you have to show. Is it something that if we went on your website, yeah. would we be able to uh, see more of this that you have to offer? And if that's the case, what is your web address? www.pof- USA.com and yes you'll see pictures there'll be stuff that's information to see but I like coming to the shows like this where you can 
get to the people, talk to them, have them compare so they make their decisions. There's a lot of great technologies from a lot of different companies, a lot of great products. We chose to make piston-driven guns with unique features to give it to take heat away, to take flex, eliminate flex in the system, and make a weapon system that can operate without lubricant that's robust and durable. That's what we try to do. We want to be known for quality, not quantity. Sounds good. Well, thank you very much. It sounds like you've built a lot of innovation into your products. So I want to thank Frank DeSoma, president of Patriot Ordnance Factory, for talking with us. For the FirearmsChannel.com, I'm Martin Gonzalez. Thanks for watching. You're watching the FirearmsChannel.com.